once again to the Galfon Challenge brought to you by Run It Once Poker and much better, the payment processor. Man, oh man, are things exciting. Action is already underway. Let me recap the story. So far, you guys know it very well. Phil touched green yesterday. Crossed over back into Profitsville after being down over 900,000 euros. This, of course, the Galfon Challenge being 25,000 hands of high stakes pot limit Omaha. Phil Galfon versus Venny Vidi. We are currently just over the 20,000 hand mark. So we are on the home stretch of this challenge. Phil currently down only 40,600 euros. There is, of course, that little matter of the side bet also in play. Whichever player ends up in Profitville will win an additional 100,000 euros if it is Phil Galfon and 200,000 euros if it is Venny Vidi. I am calling the action today. I am Uncle Daddy Joe Stapleton. Co-hosting with me is professional poker player and run at once coach, Andreas Fraley. What's up, buddy? Good to be with you again. Hey, what's up, Stapes? Happy to be here today. Excited for today's match. Will we touch green yeah. again? Rare to be chatting with you guys on a non-chat pro Saturday. Big pot. Money goes to in. Four bet pot filled with a flush try and a gut shot. And he gets there with a jack eight draw versus aces and a gut shot. Already 20k up. Yay, Phil. Table two. Yay, Phil. That, that was fast. Looks like he's lost a little bit of that back, but still down only $30,000 overall in this challenge. Once again, I am Joe Stapleton. Once again, he is Andreas Fraley. And we're already over 20,000 hands after yesterday's play. So just a little bit less than 5,000 hands left to play. It's uh, pretty insane that it's just a little bit over a bind that's between those two players. Um, it's probably less likely that this match was going to be so close in hand number 20,000. The more likely outcome is certainly that one player is going to be way ahead after such an amount of hands. But here we are. We're going to have, a, you know, could be anyone's match at this point. Well, we're going to have a three bet pot on table number two. Don't forget, got to name these tables today. So far, I'm leaning towards the names Feed and Drink because, as you know, Andreas, today is Free for All Friday where we feed our feelings and drink our double ups. Then those no are the table rules. names. Or aren't they? Uh, well, I think feed your feelings and drink your double ups is a little too long, but we might go with feed and drink. Feed and drink. Table feed, table drink. Yeah, I'm into it. Phil bets half pot on the river. Table feed. Spade draw missed. The board is paired. Lots of ways to wrap around a straight. Vinny in the time bank. Is he going to just look into call or even get in there with a little check race here? He's using a lot of time bank. Goes for the call. Makes the call. Snaps off the bluff from Phil. Looks like Phil had considerable blockers there. See, we got a lot of people into the drinking names. Now, we did see someone, three bet pot table one, had, had a strong recommendation of redemption and comeback. And I like that. But I really don't want to count my chickens before they've hatched. You know what I mean? Got a half pot bet from Benny Vitti on table number one. Queen five deuce, two spades. I'll see the other one. Don't uh, count your chickens and then before the fat lady sings. Yeah, you know, I don't like to get too, too hoity-toity before things are said and done. Check raise flops wants you. To... That's not you, is it? Chickens and fat lady? I don't know. That sounds like shaming to me. We're going to skip fat lady. It's really hard to exercise these days. Let's have a little compassion for the fat lady. Yeah, I mean, you know, constant reminder is not going to be so nice. Can't shame chickens. That's true. It's maybe the chickens we can keep. Smallish bet on the river from Venny Vitti called by Phil. Venny river the set of jacks. Poker Bulldogs says table one dancing double up, table two drinking downswing. I like it a little wordy, a little, little look. You guys have no idea how hard it is to say. We've got a four bet pot on table dancing downswing. It's a lot, it's a mouthful. Betting half pot on table two. Then he calls on one. We've got over 5,000 out there, close to 6,000 on table one. 
Silent Sound Guy says, Phil is down 199 euro. This is over. As it's updated, almost 7K. There we go. All right, a small one for Phil as he pots it on table one. Over 10K out there now. Five-figure pot. Vinny looks him up, and he's right again. Yeah, he's got the seven. You know, we've, we've had uh, food restaurant food delivered once or twice over the last couple of weeks, too, where we just felt like we needed a little something. Three-bet pot, table two, queen, eight, six, two hearts. And Phil continues with the third. And Phil's been doing that semi-regularly today, I've noticed. Thank uh, you to Slap. Happy to be here. Three pots in general, when they feature a flush draw, the frequency of the three better putting out as a continuation bet is higher. Because the three better has a, a lot of double suited hands. The higher the cards are, the better as well. On the eight turn, however, Phil's checking it over to Vinny because he doesn't have like so many hands. But the eight on the river again changed things quite a lot. Um, now Phil, at least at the top end of things, should have quite an advantage. And then, you know, most likely going to go with this large bet. Large bet indeed, as large as it gets. Tell them Large Marge sent you 12,000 euros in play, table two. Oh boy, the largest of marges. Benny Vitti all in, 31,000 in the middle currently. Oh well, Benny has either been tricky with the eight or he's capable of putting <clears throat> in that gangster bluff with anything. What a sick spot for Phil. Clearly doesn't have the eight. So much money. 19,763, the Rays all in. Very, very tough. Phil, Phil ends up folding. What appears to be a very painful fold. All right, See. our tables are back up and running once again. The Galfon Challenge resumes. Four bet by Vinny Vitti right out of the gate. Four bet pot, hello. Four bet alert, where's the horn? Do you have, do you have it? Ah, there we go. First four bet of the day here on four bet Fridays. You weren't ready for the first one, so you're just calling it the first one. Ever there was another one? Yeah. I don't remember. It was just too fast. It was just too fast in the first ten minutes. I can understand. Four bet Fridays. Interesting. Every board. time you have to take a drink every time you hear the horn. That was seven drinks. Vinny with the third bet in SP 1.34 or something. Let's see if Phil finds a continue here. A lot of, you know, his three betting hands will miss on this 5-3 deuce. There's so many auto folds it's going to have in this four bit pot. And let's not forget about table two, which was only three bets, but still significant cashola. Phil's a small bet and following it up on the turn. Hmm, where's the button on table number two, by the way? I just see the button. Oh, it's on it's on Phil. He has the trips and takes this one down. Yeah, most of the time we've seen the four bets, the three better was not ready to five bet in this match. Three bet pot, table one, ten eight four, rainbow, full pot bet from Venny VD. And Phil more or less puts Venny all in. And there call. Is 40, 40k pot. Benny with the 10 8 2 pair. That holds up. It's going to be good. That is a four bet. That is a four bet pot. Here we go. This time, Phil the four better. Phil is the four better. King, 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 King six. six. Four bet alert. Fill in position, Willie Seabet. I'm more, way more professional than David Tuckman. <laughs> Small Seabet. And he takes it down. Phil takes it down. A 
Over 7,000 in the middle, table number two. Checks to the river. Astro Zombie asks, Joe, can you say hi to my son Ryder and daughter Simone? Like, hey Ryder, hey Simone, like that? Like that? Like, go be like, hi Ryder, hi Simone. I don't do that, actually. Thank you for your question. Back to table two. If it was a chance to bet in position. And he does. Bets it all. The maximum. Pottage for the cottage. Oh, boy. Raise alert. Phil folds immediately. More about my personal life later. For now, poker. Of the pot limit Omaha variety, Phil Galfon down two and one half and then a half of a half buy-ins so far today. That's two and three quarters buy-ins. And down just about five buy-ins overall here in this 100, 200, 25,000 hand pot limit Omaha challenge brought to you by Run It Once Poker. And much better. Don't forget those guys. Help you get the money on the site. As Phil bets half pot on table one. 10, 4, 3. Hmm. And I'll tell you what, guys. Y'all were very good about not bringing up the table names for the last little while. So it's back on the table. The tables are back on the table. I don't know the name of the table that the table names are back on. We haven't named that table yet either. Well, the table names are back on the unnamed table as we go to the river. 10,000 in the middle, table two, paired board, hearts missed. And Being also continuing on the left, I mean, two big pots at the same time. Oh, heck yeah, 21,000 on the right, 14,000 on the left. Bill folds on the right. And this river could see quite a few leads as well. Maybe he doesn't. Checks it over to Phil. Uh, Phil had some of these two pairs. Most likely going to just check them now. But maybe he didn't prove or he doesn't have anything. Goes to the pot indeed. And maybe he folds. So those two even out more or less. Hello, welcome to the jungle. Four bed alert. <laughs> and that is quite the flop for a four bet pot. Ace, King, Trey, two diamonds. A tough one for Phil. And he has to like this sport. He goes for the third bet. Come on, third bet pots are for wusses. Phil finds the call and the backdoor flusher card rolls off. So Phil is having that backdoor flusher. Good chance he's gonna continue on this card, but the question is, does he have that type of hand? Sorry, I hit him, but then they just came through all at once. That was weird. Hello. Phil with the Kings. They are good. That is a big pot for Phil Galfon. Yay, Phil. What's happening on table down, bro? A pot size bet, that's what. And Benny wins. Hmm. The son of Jax, it looks like, with a YOLO needle in the chat. What was that? Let's have a look. Oh, no. What's he that? won with just a pair of jacks. Excuse me. Maybe with the hero call. I guess he earned that YOLO, honestly. Locking the straight, having a one pair hand, and Phil having the other straight blockers. At the moment, their table treading water and table drowning. So it is a little bit of a, 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 a question of how large your budget is to get a story like this out there with all these super big news channels. Like if, if uh, it come up with enough money for, for them to show it, I guess they would. My guess is that 
American sports networks are probably still a little unsure about how the government would feel uh, with them covering online poker. Oh, that part is also true. Yeah. For example, marijuana is quite legal in several states in the U.S. now, but big networks do not mention it. They don't cover it. They don't talk about it. They don't have it in their shows because it is not federally legal. Mm -hmm. And so they don't want to upset the federal government by featuring that sort of stuff. And that will have an effect on programming as far as poker is concerned as well. Then he bets full pot. Table Cinderella gets called by Phil. Showdown. That's the nut flush. And we've got a three bet pot on table story. And three bets is where it stays. Ace, queen, 10 on this flop. Phil betting half pot. Phil facing a half pot bet on table Cinderella. Folds. Four cards to a straight now in this three bit pot. Phil checks it over to Vaney. Pots it again. Yep. Phil calls rivers of five. Probably as big a brick as you can imagine. And then he bets small, bets a third of the pot on this river. Phil raises. Are we going to have a chop pot? Let's see how many goes about that, Phil, with just the min race or just a little bit over the min race. Vaney calls. Phil is the straight. Vaney has the straight. Chop it up. Everyone loves it. We do have a significant pot on the horizon. Table story. Straighty flush draw board. Phil's in. For a full pot. Pot me, baby. And Phil takes that one down. And I'm going to hold off on my sip because I think Phil's going to win a pot on Table Cinderella as well. How do you say they have any VD Table Cinderella? One, two, three, four on the board. And then he's leading. Andreas, I know when you're playing poker, you're supposed to put your opponent specifically on one hand and nothing else, and I think this is 5-6. Phil calls. He disagrees. Or he has something that could outdraw it, but... That is not says. a board-changing card. No. Oh, many piles. Bam. Phil, Phil Insta calls. Phil has 5-6. Vaney only fives. There you go. 40K. You know why? Because blockers aren't real as Phil doubles up for the first time in a long time. I had a feeling we were going to see two significant pots. Big table sin. Cinderella, table story, drink up. That dude Zoots is savage. I agree. Money for Nuts says, go Phil, I donked a lot today. Need my rake back. That's right, if Phil can manage to come back and have a win today, 25% rake back all the live long day today, applied retroactively from midnight until midnight tomorrow, or midnight tonight, I should say. Les Moorhead says, what time zone? That is correct. Thank you for your question. About SPR2. On a 10, 8, 4, 9. Phil's betting a little bit more than half pot. Meaning continues. We have a blank on the river. So Phil did half that straight. Hey, we got one. How about table Cinderella? Can I get two sips for the price of one? A story, Phil wins a 10k pot. Let's see if he can take the Cinderella one. He pots it. That is an all in, not quite pot. And he Three does quarters. not have, Yep, more or less all in. For Veni Vidi, 1993. Hmm. Tiberius says, come on, Phil, let's start the crushing. 
Time Bank in the tank. And Phil does have it after. Yeah, nice. Phil doubling up with the Queen Jack versus the tens and the seven blocker to the seven six straight. No good. Phil not bluffing this time. Poker Staples also in the chat. What's up, Jamie? Jamie's a very fine fella. We're just not the same person. Happy Van Winkle notes under 50k for a huge turnaround. I mean, there's so much no way for you two guys not to know each other, right? It's like almost impossible. We did both work for the same company for quite some time, so yes. <laughs> not only that, but people must have always bring up the other person. No, I don't think anyone ever brings me up to Jamie Staples. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was setting you up for that joke, like as I said it. <laughs> See? Like we're <laughs> Here we go, kids. This could be it. Fill with a three bet. This could be the pot I've all been waiting for. No, no call, no raise. Fenny reload after reload. Just a little bit at a time, but it all adds up. It all sounds like that much, but now it's minus 44K. Imagine being in that position to say that it's, uh, yeah. Like in Phil's shoes, say, all right, there's two binds. Phil raising on the turn. Vanny Vitti re-raises. Phil with a decision. It was not a pot size re-raise. We don't see these very often. There's Ooh, the four, four bet. Four bet <laughs> alert. <laughs> Post flop four bet. <laughs> Vanny folds. Drink up, MFers. <laughs> there it is. Ask and you shall receive, monkey fish. A little horn porn for you. Does that count as a four bet pot when Phil post flop four bets? Hell yeah, it does. <laughs> right four bet in the chat. And I think it's um a lot of the times for players who have been playing on other sides before are still doing that. It is, uh, you know, a little bit about a habit. If you're having the habit of playing on one side, if you're having the habit of watching a certain stream, you're going to more likely come back to the stream. And that's the same with poker sites. Maybe you just want to develop a habit of, of mixing in some tables and see how, how that goes. So a lot of people are probably not mixing tables as much yet. So they, they're not going to try out adding like, if, if there's just one table going, Maybe add like one table from run one poker and see how it goes. You can still decide not to do that anymore. It's about 7.2k as Vini Vidi uh, finds the continuation battle. Nine deuce five with two clubs. And he follows it up with another half pot test bet as the ace is gonna be a card that is good for the for the three better. I mean on the other hand, Phil's also going to have some straights with three, four occasionally. Does just call. And it's a club on the river. Vinny okay. with a very bad Stone Temple pilot right now. I think if Phil's winning this pot, he, oh well, Vinny fires all in. Vinny, uh, Phil hasn't called yet. This could bring Phil even. Yes, it would make him even. It would make it put him in a green if he was winning this one. But he's in the tank. And Vini has to be bluffing here first as well. Because Phil doesn't seem like to have a premium bluff catcher. He folds. Good question from uh, Juad. What if this match came down to a very close pot and then it got splashed? And that's what put the winner over the edge. Just throwing it out there. We do have a significant pot now, Table Cinderella. Spring notes, poor Vinny. Is anyone cheering for him? Yeah, there's a couple people out there. There's always some contrarians. Fills the pot says bet on the four card straight board. After checking back the turn, I believe, on Table Story. Vinny folds now down to 22 and a half. And also on the Table Cinderella, fill with a pot size bet. Ooh, baby. And this is going to decide between green or red, this pot alone. Can Vini continue here? It's also 10 of diamonds still. 
But Vaini folds. That means Vaini. we're going to see some green at least. Hey, Andreas, is that dookie I smell? Because this is officially a green day. Back up into Profitville for the day. Can it happen for the challenge? And it's his third time after that long red streak. You can see there's a little bit of green and a little bit of red. There's a green glimpse coming up. And then now the definite green. Yeah, I did get the, the green green day reference. That's all right, buddy. <laughs> We're all in it together. You get some, I get some, <laughs> Jack gets some. Will Phil get some more on Table Story. 13K in the pot. That's right, Brockney. Vanny is on the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Welcome to the Green Day. Drink now, says Plano. Or you're right. I owe you guys a drink. Phil bets full pot. Straight flush incoming, says Scooter. It's certainly possible. Benny VD. 4.5K. Or call 13,000. Then he calls call. quickly, Phil with the bluff. Flush. Look, I mean, fills up a lot on Table Cinderella. So Table Story, you know, it doesn't have as much slack it has to pick up. But still, yeah, we'd like to see things move up a little bit more there. Andreas, uh, as you know, I've been celebrating Phil's wins by imbibing. Uh, but as you know, also know what goes in must come out. So I'm going to leave chat in your very capable hands for a few moments and I will be back I just as soon as I can oh pop for Phil a glug 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 where are you from favorite Euro destination I'm from Switzerland and it's pretty much uh, still uh, you know one of my favorite places to be or there's going to be places in Switzerland I sometimes make, um, uh, I mean, I've been traveling outside of poker a little bit too, but mostly poker. I feel with the big race, all out of a sudden, Vaini with the all-in versus the big check race on this turn, filled top two and the flush draw. Vaini with the higher flush draw and the top two pair. Free rolling versus Phil, and unfortunately does get those 20K on story. Ace High pointing out that these are some swingy sessions. Agreed, Mon Frere. Still facing a pot size flop bet on table story. Phil's still in, Jack in the turn. Very small pot, not much action, table Cinderella. Yeah, you can have those, Benny, no big deal. We'll take the one on the right. What do you say? River Brick. Tray ball, spade ball, should not affect much. Many Benny with fires, it. fires small. Challenging bet for Phil, because you know whenever the small bets happen, the opponent needs to defend a lot by calling and raising. Cannot allow himself to fold a lot of hands. Phil calls, gets shown a jack, and the jack is good. Does Phil check back any jack hacks? I mean, he has always some traps. He's shown it in the past. Flop raise from Venny. Phil gets a fold on story. Back on Cinderella. Phil bet a quarter pot, excuse me, a third of the pot on the flop. And now he is three bet. Will Venny call? Will he fold? Will he put in the fourth bet? There's the fourth bet. Phil's putting in a fifth yeah. bet. The torn's all, all around. In. Have Phil's Two winning this Phil one. On the flop, Phil shaving 20K off his debt for the day with that last big pot. We saw no significant action since dropping some frames there. Get your 40Ks out there. Phil winning that 40K pot. We are going to give away 20 euros on run at once. And we're still hoping to activate that green back promotion 
The Phil can scrape out a win today. 25% extra rake back all day today. DJ Dgen says, hey, guys, it's OMG Clay Aiken. <laughs> yeah, right. That would be cool. Nobody's heard from that guy in years. Still two identically sized pots. Benny Vidi pots it in position. Table Cinderella making what I just said a lie. Oh, wait, just kidding. Now Phil's made him even again. Phil folds Cinderella. Story. Vanny. Action. It's an interesting one because a lot of, well, maybe of the check raise even. Phil calls and Vinny call. has the nuts this time. Two fairly meaty pots in development. Cinderella up over 8,500. And table story at 15,000 now after he goes bet call on the turn. Phil's going to win a showdown. Cinderella, can he go two for two? And that's going to be a big pot if he wins it. Phil's been more or less put been put all in. Again, in this situation, as Phil said, it also on some of the interviews, um, he's going to have to be Jim good. It. Wow, what a pot. Let's actually replay that if, if, if we can. Let's take a replay, if you will, producer Nick. Let's have another look at that pot. Go ahead. Take it away, Andreas. Limp it in by Vini um, with the Jack Jack 7 deuce. Oh, well, we see everything. Phil raising it from the big blind. Puts out a small bet, Vini raising the flop. Phil continuing, again, having in mind, Phil has a set and an open ender. And then Vini barreling both turn and river. And Phil finding the call. Um, Vini has the jack blockers. And this is really interesting because what Phil might be, I mean, this is maybe a, a hand that I could ask Phil after the session because well, guess what? After the session is now. This, this, so might, keep... <laughs> this might be it now. Because, I mean, Vini limps a specific kind of range, and that range will have a specific kind of jacks because a lot of these other jacks will go into the raising range. So the question is always like which kind of jacks Vini puts in the raising, which one he will be limping. And then also, of course, not just the jacks, but also the jack eight, because it's not going to be just jack, jack eight that he can have. He can have all the jack eight. He could have maybe some six, eight and diamonds and, and still barrel, barrel off, thinking that Phil would raise again, at least at some point. So yeah, I think that's a very, very interesting spot because it all started with a limp um, as one of the last hands and Vini quitting here. I like this comment from Vet Triple X says that last one hurt, but we're still in the green, right? Uh, question <laughs> back for you. Who's we? I think you're the only one v rooting for Vanny Vidi. I don't mind it. I think it's great. But I think you're more or less alone. We will be back tomorrow for Chat Pro Saturdays, another edition of the Galfon Challenge. But for now, for Andreas Fraley, for Phil Galfon, I am Joe Stapleton. Smell you later.